Yeah, that's good. Got a beautiful blue sky and I can't re believe yesterday we were in biblical weather conditions. That's one of the nicest coffees I've ever had. It was fantastic, wasn't it? The snack shack in Luss. Well, it's down here on the left, Norm. Do you have a nosy? Oh, do you want to? Yeah, go on. It might take us. Let's have a. I think it's a harbour or something. I can't. Oh, this, this gorgeous, Norm. Oh, isn't it lovely? Well, Shetland Cow. Loch Lomond must be right in front of us, so presumably we come to a harbour or... In point four of a mile, turn right, Norm. I see it. It's whether we can get back on the road, Mike. Well, my, my Google is saying... Uh, you can. You can. Brilliant. Look at that. Wow. There's a jet ski out there. I hope you're filming it. Are you filming it, Norm? Yeah, I am. Oh, dear. Can I move here next week? It's beautiful. Speed cameras. What's the speed? 60. What are we doing? 60. 60? Yeah. It was a police car then. Oh, it's a wide load, Norm. Oh, that's what, that's what it is. It's hard to filter, Mike, because there's so many cars coming. Oh, it's a big thing to take through the... Oh, that's a bit naughty, that Norm. Yeah, it is. No, you are. I know I am. But he'll let me in. Oh, somebody else doing the same. been raining here Mike. I think actually no it's just a lot of rain that, that runs it's the water soaked in the side of the hill. Oh that's coming down. It ju just runs down. I can't believe how wet these roads on. You think you think it'd been pouring all night, but I don't think it has. I think you're right. It's just the water from yesterday, the rain from yesterday. I still can't believe you got me into motorbiking. <laughs> <laughs> I, can't, I, I can remember those words. Right, we're going somewhere special this afternoon. <laughs> called Rainbow. <laughs> I thought I was going to some sort of gay camp. <laughs> I still can't forget you getting on the a GSXA the minute you got in there. said, I'll have this one. <laughs> Mike, you've got to take a test first. <laughs> How many times did you fail? Four. <laughs> Three. Three. I passed on the four. Passed on the floor. Mick Barlow could never understand why I would never pass. It's just on the day, isn't it? You just you just want it so badly. Yeah. And the woman genuinely, I have to say, she genuinely didn't like me for some reason. I mean, imagine not liking me, Norm. Can you imagine that? 
I don't know how you ever passed. <laughs> cool, this is rough, Mike. Whoa! They've taken the whole surface off while they're re-tarmacking, haven't they? At least it's got friction. Ooh, that's better. Oh dear, these roads are really rough. You can feel it skitting about on it. Yeah, maybe it wasn't. Maybe it's a coincidence. So next time we stop, I'll plug it in and see if it works, because that would that would give me probably an hour and a half's lifespan instead of 20, 30 minutes. Oh, that's better, back on a normal road. I just couldn't be bothered all the faffing about with all the controls and editing. And, oh, I love unless, that. I, unless I have to do something, I don't do it. Well, I've noticed that. <laughs> <laughs> I just feel my whole life I've had to push myself, you know, to, to learn an industry, I know. which was quite a complicated industry. <laughs> and now I've forgotten everything, you know, all the stuff <laughs> like, I've forgotten it all. Because you can. You've got minions doing it. That's the drover's in, Mike. This that's one the, here? That's the pub. Never been touched. They must have put this bypass in. Yeah, when you get a train coming along, can you imagine in the winter, in the snow, a steam train? It was just wonderful. It goes right round there, round that mountain opposite right round the valley and back towards us. Beautiful. The beauty about these roads, you've got the opportunity to overtake. It's just great. This is, where the, this is where the bagpipe man is normally, isn't it? Up on that car park? Up on that car park, yeah. <coughs> Whether he's there today. Are the Japanese or the English? They're English. There's no bagpipe today, mate. It's wimped out. Yeah. I think we're going into bad weather by the look of it. Nothing can be as bad as yesterday, no. No, it won't. Yeah, it's three, three and a half hours, three and a quarter hours from now, mate. <laughs> that is right. Because we're, we're not on fast roads. Well, I don't think we are. That's like a miniature cruise liner, isn't it? Looks like it. Oh yeah, the boats are going out to it, taking people yeah, it can't, it can't even get into a, a key here. Fort William without the midges. Yeah, that's the only downer. It is a big downer. Midges. If you live in the Highlands, this is your main town, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, just one, just one second. I always got to stop one second. Yeah. Okay. Uh, now, can you hear me now, Norm? Yeah, I can hear you. Oh, that's amazing because I can play music through my phone. Can you? If I put my music on, I'm sure it cuts us off straight away. But I'm doing it through the Garmin. Right to go to go to um, your mate. Is he up there? Oh, that's a nice place. That's it, Imbalocki. Have you cut off now?
I had to turn us on again then, Mike. Whatever, uh, you, whatever you did is switching us off. Oh, right, okay. Oh, crowds more around the memorial. It's like the height of the holiday season. <laughs> it's amazing, isn't it? I can't believe it. The commandos. I always love this road, Mike. This is through the through the Great Glen and past the lock. It's so beautiful. And this lock is so fabulous. This lock is beautiful, isn't it? It is. I just Which love lock it. Is this one, though? Which I one can't is remember it? the name. I'll have to look it up. I just can't. Oh, it, it says. Oh no, it's the A87 we're on. It says Coal Lock Elysee or something. Does it tell you on this sign? No. You can imagine him walking across in his, you know, with his, his woolen coat on. Yeah. Across the moors and it's freezing cold and damp. Uh, it's a fantastic book to read. I thought it was compulsory reading for everybody. Kidnapped. Oh, I must have a look at that. Or with Louis Stevenson. Is that a policeman? No, it's a school crossing man. Woman. Man. Woman. Thought he was going to come out. He was. Ah. Oh, because he can't see. It's a totally blind corner. You get a motorbike coming around at 60 mile an hour, he hasn't got a chance. What a beautiful view. I can't believe how I'm getting through the fuel. Yeah. With rocks falling on us. Excellent. <laughs> and a bend that never stops. In many ways, Mike, this is better than the North Coast 500, isn't it? Oh, what? Well, in many ways, in every way. That that has got beauty spots, but it's got a lot of barrenness. And this has just done it all the way. Well, so far it is, and I can't oh, I can't see it changing on this route. This past Scotland is just is marvellous. <laughs> wow! Look at that down there. I can't look at it. This is when the problem that my hel my camera is on the right hand side of my helmet, and the and the beauty is on the left hand side. <laughs> oh, this is Loch Caron then. We've definitely been here before. Oh, missed it. Turn around. I missed it.
Uh, Turn it off. Well, it's always fun. There'll be another one. Oh, there you are, mate. Waterside Coffee and Takeaway. Wherever it is. This is amazing, isn't it? We stayed in a, a bed and breakfast right on that peninsula over there. And I said, where do we eat? And he said, down there. <laughs> it's like, you are kidding me. And the midges were biting like mad. How do we get there? You go on your bikes. No, I'm not going on my bike. Yeah, I came with Steve and Wendy on this. Very carefully because Steve had only just, the day before, he'd, um, he'd come off his bike. And that does make you nervous. Big hole there, Mike. Look at that waterfall. It's 30, mi 30 miles until we turn left. We'll get there at quarter past four, which is perfect. Time to relax. Whoops. Oh, we nearly had pheasant for dinner. This is getting fairly wild, isn't it? Incredible. It's absolutely beautiful. I thought I saw a car. Oh, he's waiting for us. I don't know why. God, what a road, Mike. Fantastic. Oh. I've never been on this road, Mike, because although it's part of the North Coast 500, it's a bit we've always missed because we've gone up one coast, down the other. We don't want to cross again. But it's a lovely road, isn't it? Yes, lovely. Inverness seems to have come up so quick. We could stop on the Murray Firth and watch the dolphins. You like dolphins? The A9 is so boring to go all the way down. It's sort of better to go inland a bit. So it looks as if I come off and then come right along the coast road, that one below us. Some bridge that when you see it from this angle. Yeah. I love it when bridges bend as well instead of just going straight across. So we must be coming up to Culloden, yeah, Culloden Battlefield where the Battle of Culloden was done. It's quite a famous spot this one. Now we're out of the city. 
a total different landscape, isn't it? Within an hour. But Can I get up by you, Mike? Yeah. I'll hang the sack. I'll just go for a bit. Oh, too late. <laughs> You're okay, no. Okay. Get, get aside of me now. Yeah, carry on. It's a conservation village, Cordor. It was preserved as it was. Studios and workshops select. Fascinating place. This is a nice windy road. Lovely. Where's this come from? Bay Avenue it's called, it's lovely. It starts getting very dramatic on this road. I think this is the highest town in Britain, isn't it, Tommy Tool? I've no idea. It's snowed off all the time. Yeah, I think it is the highest town. Or village. from blue sky and sunshine to suddenly cold and uh, it looks as like if the heavens is going to open. These are 6.5 degrees now. I'm getting quite cold. It's, uh, it's only going one way, it's dropping and dropping. But we're climbing and climbing apart from this little bit. I mean, why wouldn't be bikers welcome anyway? What's that's a bit prejudicial, isn't it? Yeah. Why wouldn't they be welcome? No, I don't think it was this one. No, I think it's just trying to eat. Yeah, why wouldn't they? It is prejudiced. <laughs> no, it's not that. It's closed anyway. They're probably closed for the winter. God, this is quite, uh, quite twisty. Serious bends. It's not the bend, it's the very potholes that are in it that make it worse. And now we've got a motor home in front. No chance. <laughs> it's a fence all the way. That's a big motor helmet. That's probably about the size of yours, isn't it? Uh, it's a bit bigger that one. Longer. It's called a tag axle. Oh, two axles, yeah. Interesting place, Tommy Tool, though, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> There's not a lot you can say about it. It's got one road, and we go left here. Glen Nibbit Distillery. I would love to go to some of these distilleries. We never get time. It takes all afternoon. It's been a nice lunch, mate. It was. It was just just, of, just right. Just, just to get some food down here to. Now these are nice roads. Lovely. Better than the roads coming in, which were very potholed. Beautiful.
blue skies, Mike. Hold on, mate. Temperatures up to eight degrees. Hold on, mate. Almost tropical. the way it winds away. Fantastic. The lect. Fancy having a business that only runs for, I don't know, 12 weeks a year, if that. Isn't it? It's like a folly, yeah. Braemar's a up market place, isn't it? I always wonder how they fill these hotels, they're so big. I need to pull in a moment, no, just to keep my visor and my eyes are running like a. Yeah, that's okay, I'll just change my battery, it'll keep it going then. So whenever you. Just up here. <laughs> That's the problem. Ah, oh, it's okay. <laughs> I hope this is a nice hotel tonight. I'd just like to relax. It was a nice one last night, Norm. It was, it was good. It was good. This is amazing, Mike, isn't it? Oh, it's awesome. So grandeur and and the fact the sun's come out is just made it perfect. There's no traffic, Mike. It's fantastic. It's brilliant. You can use the whole road where you can see. <laughs> we 
Which way does the road go? Exactly. Oh, oh dear. I quickly looked okay. at that. I think we're a bit away from the motorway at the moment, you know? Yeah, we are, yeah. Well, it's, um, it's three o'clock, ten past three. And we get, oh, exactly two hours to the minute to get to the hotel. So it's, yeah, we're an hour from the motorway, I think. Mean. Stone Palace, one mile. I don't think we ever see it. I always fancy... Oh, is a trike, Mike? Ah, uh, not the real thing. No. Del Mahoy Hotel. What a place. Edinburgh. Got to get you coming out in the morning, Mike. It's like a castle. 87 pounds, was it? I have to remember this one. Dolmahoy. If you go into Edinburgh, you double that price. That's what I found. The second well, you get into the, the city, you're bound to, aren't you? Good choice, Mike. It's an amazing view over Edinburgh, you can see the fourth bridge as well. So we must be skirting around probably to come back on the ring road. You can see the ice, Mike, on... You can see ice still. Okay, well, I'm coming up on the outside then. Will you overtake me, because I don't know where we come off. I can't believe I haven't got it on the roof. That's better. What a beautiful day to run out of petrol. I suddenly realise we're going into these sort of borders where there is no petrol. Well, you had your chance. I did. So we'll both run out of petrol. <laughs> There's, there's louder or louder, whatever you call it, but whether it's in within 20 miles, I can't remember now. And oh, no, I've got 19 miles left, Mike. So we're going to have to find something. Actually, I've never been so low on petrol. It's quite exciting. 13 miles to go. And what? Three miles to the petrol station. Here we are. Ah, oh, look at that. I'm down to 10 miles, Mike. What a lovely sight. Petrol anxiety all over. Ooh, nine miles I'm down to. That was tight. I want it start. Oh. What I want to start. Come on. What's it say? Mine won't start. Why doesn't it mean, please ensure you have the means to pay? What do you have to do? <laughs> what? After what, sorry? Oh, right. What do you have to do, Mike? Come off your bike, Mom. <laughs> what? <laughs> what, then it'll work? Then it works. Oh, then they switch it on. Still not working. Oh, she's telling them we're off the bikes. Yeah. Oh, I was going to do your trick of filling more up. 28 pound 81. I was really empty. What have you got in like? Uh, I'll tell you. 
Can I pay for number one and number four? You told me you fancied that uh, guy behind the till. <laughs> I can't see the number. <laughs> yeah. Can you hear them? Yeah. <laughs> Card approved, take the car. No, no, obviously. That's it, thank you. <laughs> I will get you back. <laughs> Yeah, Jeb was very nice. Big on. I say it's not fair, they're heading to Scotland, we're going home. But they may be heading to bad rain tomorrow. Yeah. We've had the best days. Can't complain. Can't complain. I don't like gravel. <laughs> no, this is rock solid, it's still. I know, but it's still slippy, slippy. <laughs> <laughs> Har the Harleys? Harleys, yeah. Oh, well, we'll have that. <laughs> oh, here's that inn I stayed in. Found it oh. at half past seven at night. Oh, I could have kissed the place. Which bike was this? Was that the one you bought? That, that was the one I bought when it was, you know, 33 years old. BMW R100. Yeah, I remember it. Riding it back and I got there. I hadn't had a meal that day, so I had a meal and I had a bed. Oh, I was so grateful. I've never been so grateful. I was so wet. Everything was wet, but just so good. And when I got up in the morning, it was thick fog here. And I got about five miles down this road and thought, why am I so cold? And I'd left my armor jacket in the wardrobe. Oh, you lunatic. I had to turn around and go all the way back. That extra layer would just kept me that bit warmer. God, oh, look at dear. that. What did he do that for? Nice bike, so. I've got to get in. I went over the double, the white line, Mike. Oh, you're reckless, you are. Road, Mike. Amazing. It's just stunning, isn't it? Kids used to love this road when we were coming up to Shetland. We'd always come up and down the A68. Uh, they thought it was a roller coaster, screaming at the top of every rise and then hooting on the way down. Who was screaming? The, the lads. When, when they were young boys, you know, they just loved this road. It's just up and down all the way. <laughs> and you worry that there's a bend right after it. That's the problem. Hummerbeck. There must be something in Hummerbeck with a name <laughs> like that. Hummers. I doubt it though. Look at the fortitude against the elements. You can't believe that just what? Four days ago, we were coming up here in torrential downpour, and now it's beautiful. What a, what a three days in Scotland. 
Just amazing. 